I get a lot of questions. How are docks physically built on Lake Martin, especially when the water is up in the summer? I thought this might be a good opportunity to go and check out a situation like this. Some friends of mine have their dock being built on, and so I thought I'd bring my uh, cameras over and stuff and just let you see what it looks like when a barge is there and they're working on the dock. In this particular case, our friends are getting their fixed dock adjusted and also getting a new uh, floating dock and I think also a boat lift. So I thought it'd be fun just to go by and check it out. Okay, and now we'll go to the parts of all this construction. And the biggest obvious part that you see is the barge. And I have this part circled in red here. And that's the big barge that has uh, a lot of equipment on it. So what's going on there? You can also see that the barge has these two uh, poles that are, I've got white arrows on here. And those are what we call spud poles. And so they'll actually drive those into the ground so that the barge is stable when it's working because it, it's gotta be stable in order to have that big, huge track hoe on it that does all the work. So let's just get a close up of this track hoe that is on the barge that does all the work. The, uh, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and see where I show you the red arrow, that fitting on top of that track hoe, that's what does all the work. So it picks up things, it uh, drills uh, holes for the poles, it places the poles down in there, does all the work for this whole operation. Okay, so let's break down some more parts here. What I have circled in red here is the push boat. This boat uh, literally pushes the barge to the job site. They put the barge in on a, on a boat ramp or wherever. It's got that big track hoe and materials on there. And the push boat, which is really just like a big pontoon boat, literally pushes the barge into place and so that they can get to where they're going because that, that barge doesn't have any engines on it to get anywhere. And this last piece I'm showing you here is, this is just another materials boat. Like this particular company had, I guess, some more materials to, materials to deliver. And so they put some on there and it has like a little outboard motor on there. Sometimes you don't see those often, but that's what that is there. Now we're gonna take a look at the construction job itself. Now every one of these is gonna be different, but I'm just showing you what's going on here with this overhead shot. The red arrows right now are pointing to this U-shaped dock, and that's a floating dock. And the these existing folks and friends of ours had that moved into a little bit different position. And so that was part of what they were doing with this. So that is a floating dock where they will park their their boat. And, uh, and now what I'm showing you here on the green arrows is they, the construction company drilled uh, or drove rather those poles into the water and into the base of the lake and that's what they're building their fixed dock off of. So the, the green arrow area is going to end up being a fixed dock uh, and that the, um, those little, like I say, the little white dots that I'll zoom in on later, those are the poles. And here you can look and see uh, the poles were set, so it's a little bit different angle. The green arrows are those poles I was showing you from overhead, and they drilled those in and, and drove them in. And then that red arrow is just the band of the fixed dock that is going to be, that's where the level of the fixed dock is going to be. So what you see typically is the dock companies set those poles in the water first. That's the hardest part of the job, really. And then they set the, uh, the red arrow, the bands that go around it. And then once they get those done, it's pretty much a normal construction project. I'm sure they'll laugh when I say normal, but um, again, getting those poles in the ground and in the lake bed and getting them plumb and getting them in the right spots are really the super, super critical part of the job. And once you get to that point, then it becomes a little bit more recognizable as like a, you know, a normal deck. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know because docks and seawalls and all the marine construction are such a huge part of your overall investment for a lake house. I'm John Coley, I'm a real estate agent here, and I can help you figure out how your needs and your wants line up with what's on the market right now. While you're at it, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It's the best no-cost way to let me see that what I'm doing is giving you value.